What's up everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. Today is Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. The first trading day of the year is in the books, guys. And I missed out tremendously. Imagine that, as always. Um, and I just wanted to do a really quick video on the terrible decision that I made of selling um, right at the close on uh, Tuesday, uh, the day before uh, New Year's Day. Um, and if you go back to the uh, previous uh, video that I made, you'll see exactly why I sold. Uh, but either way, I did make uh, a, a winning trade. I did make money on that trade, so I can't be disappointed. But this shows, this comes to show as to what I'm trying to accomplish here and why you should scale out. If you recall, I traded this signal here. I got in really, really late, and basically I only traded the last uh, nine, 10 minutes of the trading day on Tuesday and New Year's uh, Eve. And I bought in at 225, and I ended up selling at 260 for a 15% gain. And I only bought one call, where usually I like to buy um, a, a couple of, of calls I sold because I only had one I didn't want to risk it if the market gap down and then it, it would I would turn a winning trade into a losing trade so I can't be too harsh on myself but this is a prime example as to exactly why I want to scale out you sell um, half of your position at a 10% gain the other half you let it ride you let it ride for bigger gains you're putting yourself into a winning position no matter what happens pretty much that is the theory right and I'm hoping to put that practice into play this morning the market gapped up um, pretty good pretty good and those calls that I, I sold at 260 opened up at three dollars and 47 cents i missed out on that huge trade there and then sure it kept up going a little as high as 378 and then came back down to as low as 271 but then went back up to close well right at the um closing at four dollars and 29 cents so again traded from 225 sold at 260 could have held one um, until 429 but this is the power of scaling out guys i really truly believe that you guys need to be scaling out on your trades um, basically if you if you're not scaling out you're telling the universe you're telling the stock market that that's all you want to make is in my case the 15 percent on, on tuesday i basically told the universe hey 15 percent is good enough for me i'm out i don't want to make any more money that is essentially what i told the stock market um and the stock market said oh okay then screw you i'm gonna go up higher i'm gonna make everybody else more money um and then in the same video i wanted to show you something interesting about this strategy this particular trade it's showing as a losing trade because by the time that it closed below the lower uh, mobo band it closed right here well below it right um, it is showing it as a losing trade but had you actually um, followed this uh, signal here and in fact i did trade this signal i can't remember uh, from what price to what price and and what option but I did trade this here. You had to be a real sucker uh, without a strategy, without a plan in place. Honestly, you would be an idiot not to uh, turn this into a winning trade. And had you have followed this exactly, you would have been in a losing trade. So there's nothing to, to show that uh, I guess uh, correcting that um, and, and having good management, money management skills in this strategy i've seen this a lot i think that i can turn a lot of losing trades into winning trades in this strategy um, over the last uh what is it 360 trading days let's just show the report over the last 360 trading days not 360 calendar calendar days this strategy has given 104 total trades, um, giving us a total of $8,941.43. 
had you traded 100 shares of SPY. This is how the strategy is currently set up to show, basically, just to show the strategy, the profit loss strategy, 100 shares of SPY had you traded every single signal that um, the strategy is set up for. And that's, that's actually amazing. That is amazing if, if you really think about it but we're not trading the underlying stock we're not trading the underlying ETF in this case uh, we're trading the option and we can capitalize a lot more than that um, I'm hoping to anyways and I'm hoping to prove that to myself guys uh, comment down below what you thought about this video or what you thought about my trade uh, that I sold on Tuesday after the uh, closing bell um, comment down below what you traded what you made money on what you lost money on if you have any questions or concerns um, if you're having any issues comment down below or you can email me I'll put my email in the description down below thank you so much everybody for tuning in let's absolutely crush it this year let's make 2020 the most profitable year yet day trading the stock market trading options also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below I would greatly appreciate it like and share my video videos and we'll see you here on the very next trade i hope everybody has an awesome end of the week see you guys later